How's it going? Dave from Common Folk Investments. So this one, I have never seen this before. I don't know why Beckett CBCS is doing this. I think it's really stupid, to be honest. I, I don't even know. I have literally just look at this. So this is a Star Wars, you know, one, whatever. Everything's fine and dandy, you know, nothing big. So we'll go through the pictures. And now it has a signature, Stan Lee. And it says it has the certification of authenticity to prove that this is a Stan Lee signature. Look what Beckett does. And Beckett, if you didn't know, Beckett and CBCS are the same company. Uh, Beckett bought CBCS years and years and years ago. They're the same company. Look how they authentic authenticate it. Now, normally they put it in a CGC or, sorry, an encapsulation, a case, CBCS, and it gets a yellow label, you know, much like this. You know, gets a yellow label, certified, verified, whatever. Look what they're doing. If you look here at the bottom of this picture, scanning, they put a sticker, two stickers, two stickers on the back, like an actual sticker. That just ruins the book. That ruins the grade. Now, I don't know. I've never seen this before. I think this is the stupidest. They've obviously done it before because they have a Stan Lee, you know, Excelsior approved. Like, why even put two? Like, obviously, it has a serial number down here, B78-7110. It's been authenticated. But it's a sticker. My mind is blown. I have no idea what they're thinking. Uh, it gets you this little card as well, right here. I don't understand. Like, I, I know why they're doing it, because this certifies it has to stay on there, so you always know that it's approved. But you're going to put it there? Like... And, and then I was thinking, okay, what's the alternatives? The alternatives, you just have a piece of paper, but anyone could say you just take that piece of paper and, and attach it to any Star Wars one. But you'd also have to find a Star Wars one that has a sign, Stan Lee. But this is your thought process to put not just one, two stickers, two stickers on it. Now, I know nothing about these stickers. I don't know if they're easy to come off, if they're hard to come off. I imagine they're probably pretty hard to come off or you just take them off and put it on another book and that would defeat the whole purpose of the sticker. But now you have a sticker, and guess what? When you get it graded, they're gonna put, sometimes they put stickers like that as a qualified label, or they downgrade it. So, and if you wanted to take this off, is it gonna tear out some of the book? Like, you know, the top cover? And what if this was a crappier cover, where it was, you know, tanning and kind of brittle, and there's tears and stuff. You tear it off, you know, all of a sudden you tear off a big corner of it as well. So this is their response. Even if they're putting a sticker on it, why wouldn't you put it on the inside cover? Why on the back cover? Like if this is a raw book and it's not graded, who in the world would send this away and go, you know, I don't want to pay the full fee, the extra $5. I don't even know what it costs. The extra $5 to get it encapsulated. Uh, just verify it, put a little sticker on it, ruin the book, and that's all I need. I don't want to go through the hassle of, you know, getting it slapped. I, and it's like, I don't get it. Like, why are you even verifying it? If you just want to keep it for yourself and you don't want it slapped, then why even get it verified? The only reason that you want to get it verified is so you can sell it later. If you're the one that saw Stan Lee sign it, that's all you need to know. You don't need to get it verified. The only reason you need to get it verified is so you can sell it later and make more money off of it. So it proves that it's you know worth more. But if you're going that route, you might as well just do the whole thing and get you know the yellow label from CBCS. This is Beckett. I looked on here. This is their little thing. For a single signature, it's $20. I mean, the premier autograph fee. I don't know why it goes from one to, you know, multiple sing signatures, I guess. Um, but it doesn't say anything about comics on here. But they do have a sticker already from Stan Lee. Stan Lee doesn't exist on sports cards because Beckett is primarily sports cards. But Beckett did buy CBCS, so they do have this program. I'm just so baffled. I'm so confused. I'm, first of all, I'm confused by the person that sent this in and thought this was a good idea. I'm confused by why Beckett thinks it's a good idea to put two stickers on it and why they put it on there. Like, why the back cover? 
you could have easily just put it on. Maybe even if they're like, well, I don't want people taking off the cover. I'm like trying to go through this thought process. I'm racking my brain, just trying to think. Maybe if you put, don't put it on the cover, people will take off the cover and put it on something else. They're going through a whole lot of trouble for a Stan Lee signature, as opposed to putting it, if you put it like on the inside pages or something, I don't know, like the inside back cover page, or maybe if you really want to put it on the cover, why don't you put it on the inside of the cover? So at least it's not on the back for everyone to, I don't know. It just, it just, and I don't know how easy or hard these stickers to come off. This is baffling. I have, has anyone else ever done this before? Have you guys even heard of this? This is the first, I, it must be new, I'm assuming. That's why I haven't heard of this. It just doesn't make any sense to me. I, why don't you just get it, you know, CBC cased, CBCS cased. I don't, I don't know. Like, why are you putting stickers on your book? You're just ruining your book. Because now, if someone doesn't want those stickers on it, it's going to be harder to sell. So then what's the point of even getting verified? Because I looked at that, I was like, I don't want that. Like, most people aren't going to want that. So you made it hard. I don't know. I think it's dumb. It's dumb, dumb, dumb. You guys, Beckett, you need to come up with a different uh different scenario of what you're going to do with the, in that circumstance. Um, you know, running a business, here's some advice. You don't have to do everything just to make money. If it actually screws people over, screws over the book. The way I look at this is you're not making any new Star Wars ones unless you're VV. But there's no new Star Wars number ones. Now, obviously, the, in 2022, they could come out with a Star Wars one, but it won't be this Star Wars one, right? This came out in 77. This is the one that came out. You're not making any new ones. They're printed, they're done, they're gone. That's what makes them valuable because you can't make these again. You can reprint them, but they're not the same. It's not the same. So I try to do everything in my power so you can't ruin these because you want these to last because as time goes on, more and more of these will get ruined. Even if every single one is cased, I saw a video of a guy, his basement got flooded. All the books got, they're not waterproof, these cases. They all got ruined. Um, so as time goes on, these are going to deteriorate and they're going to become more and more rare. So you should try it. That's why people will protect them, bags and backboards. All this kind of, you can even CGC them, CBCS them to get them you know, for protection. But eventually they get more ruined. So you should try, especially Beckett, that you're in this field, you should try not to ruin them. Just so you can make an extra five or ten dollars so you can put this little like someone's like, oh, I can't afford the whole encapsulation of forty, fifty dollars. So I just want to go for the cheapest possible option. Maybe you shouldn't offer that cheap option. If you're gonna ruin the item that you're grading, because you're in the grading business, maybe you shouldn't even offer that service. Alright, have a good day.